Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Um, alhamdulillah, I'd like to, uh, of course, express my gratitude for the introductions. Um, uh, of course, I'm not accustomed to those kind of introductions. Uh, I don't really uh, see myself in, in the way that some of you do. Well, mashallah, I just ask people to make dua for me to uh, keep me humble uh, and not thinking too much of myself. Um, uh, one of the things that is a, is a great blessing uh, for this ummah is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, made the knowledge and the transfer of knowledge uh, from one generation to the other. Uh, he has made it uh, uh, a, a, the transfer of that knowledge uh, through the vessel of the human being himself. The ulama would say, an ilmu fi suduri waleisa fi sutur. That knowledge is those uh, is, is what is contained in, in the, the breast of men and women, and it's not what you find on the pages of books. You know, min rijal. That knowledge is to be taken from the mouths of men, you know, and women naturally. Ar rijal is not, is general, is, and it also includes women, uh, also who may be learned. Um, but this was what the teachings of Islam given to us. Any book that is written or translated is written not as a substitute for the human teacher. Uh, that's one thing we need to understand. You know. It's written uh, mainly in order to approximate to the student of, 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 the, the, uh, of Islam, the student of this path, of the spiritual path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we all are upon to approximate to us some of the, uh, the, 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 the subtleties of this realm, uh, of the divine realm, you see. It, it is not intended to become the substitute for these teachings. So that means that any time a book is written, any time a book is, is translated, it needs a context, needs to be given a context. So, for instance, this book, The Attributes of God, um, it's called The Attributes of God because uh, if we go back to the original author's words, uh, his book itself, is, as translated, it, its original title is Defer uh, Shubah Tasbih Bi Akaf Tanzih, repelling or dispelling the doubts uh, of likenesses or likeness between Allah and His creation, or dispelling the doubt of anthropomorphism with the most repelling exoneration, which would, what I would translate it as, you know, which the, the translation was, was very good translation also, that that is the title of the original work by Sheikh Abdul Rahman ibn Jawzi, who is uh, famous for his well-acclaimed book, Tablis Iblis, you know, The Deception of Satan, or Satan's Deception, where has been translated, parts of it have been translated into English. But this book... Uh, this original title written by this very uh, uh, monumental scholar, uh, um, outstanding uh, person in Islamic history, uh, the book itself is given context by notes by first and foremost one of our other great scholars of Islam, Sheikh Muhammad Zahid al-Kawthari, one of the uh, scholars of the Hanafi school and the great scholars of Aqidah and, and, and Sunni uh, uh, Orthodox creed of Islam, you know, who died around 1951. Uh, the book itself has a number of notes by him. In addition to that, the book contains an introduction by Dr. Khalid Blankenship, and it also has a biography about the, the author of the original work, Abdurrahman ibn Jawzi, by Dr. Jibril Haddad. Uh, and then lastly, and leastly, of least importance, has additional notes by myself by me. So the book is a compilation of uh, uh, commentary on top of commentary. So, so you're not just simply getting a, a raw, a, draw, a, a sort of a, a raw translation of a book without some sort of context or an intention or to, to give context to this particular work. Um, uh, so, so just understand that. But in spite of even that context, still the book in all of these, with all of these considerations, 
is not intended to be a substitute for the human teacher. So what I want to try to do today and tomorrow is to give you a, an even deeper context to uh, this work so that when you read it, or if you read it, uh, you can extract the greatest benefit from it, you see, and understand that when you read it, some people may read it and all it does is increase them in their desire to go out and argue with people who hold opposing positions, you see. But we have to understand that my intention was not per se to, to simply refute erroneous ideas, but it was also just simply to give uh, a, a very clear presentation of what the debates were all about, uh, what was really the truth, uh, of, of the, the, the correct position regarding these matters which people differed about. And then and, and in doing so, clearing up these issues for Muslims and so Muslims can put them down and then turn their attention to, to other matters that are much more serious and more important. See? Because this is an issue. It remains an issue. It's been an issue for centuries, from the earliest centuries of Islam for Muslims. And many times we can't do any other type of Islamic work because we have these type of distractions. You see? So it takes someone to deal with the issue, clarify the truth about the matter, and then once people understand, okay, well, that's not as, 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 as serious of an issue as I thought it was, now we can move on and we can get back to things such as, you know, feeding the poor, taking care of the needy, and, and those who are weak and downtrodden, and so on, if you follow me. So this is, we have to understand that in terms of my intention and my objective, that really what it was all about. Amongst the aims of Aqidah is to, 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 to be the, that great motivator for the human being uh, uh, to do what is necessary and to bring him or her closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and that is through having that individual to avoid the prohibitions of Allah and fulfill his commandments and hopefully reach a state where the person now is truly in the service of his creator or her creator with the right intentions. 